Cool Paso podcast. I'm your host, Vanessa Harold, and I would like for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel now, please. And if you like this video, click like. And if you have a comment, please leave a comment. So go to our website, coolpaso.com, and order for us to come and record your game. We don't just show up to your game, you gotta order. So go to coolpaso.com slash shop to put in your request. All right, we've done all work now. We can uh, welcome our special guest, the Nolan Richardson Jaguars. Woo! <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself and the men behind you. Hi, my name is Kaden Cosby. I'm the running back, and I play outside linebacker. Uh, this is Prince Thomas Charles Reeves. He's safety and receiver. This is Sean Payton, a receiver, and what'd you play? Corner. Corner. This is Josiah Perez, uh, receiver, corner. What's your name? Jules. Meza. <laughs> Huh? Meza. Meza. He running back and middle linebacker. Ryan, I mean, uh, Lesser, Jaden Lesser. D line and O line. D line, O line. Koa Hogg. Safety, running back and receiver. We got Micah Garrett. Receiver, corner. Damian Reifenberg. Huh? Receiver, linebacker. middle linebacker. Wyatt, what's your last name? Chase. Wyatt Chase, corner, corner and receiver. <laughs> Kaden Harris, O line, D line. Awesome. And uh, so tell us, what grade are you guys in? Uh, we are eighth grade. Eighth grade. Okay. And uh, talk a little bit about uh, your, um, your, what is it called? The, uh, when the, the uh, dude, I just blew it. Okay, cut. Let's think about, what, what's, it, what's it called when they, bro, it's easy. My, my brain is like, so undefeated it's okay. team. The, no, 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 like how many wins 20. and losses? Like what is that? Record. Oh, record. 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 Okay, all right, back, on, back on it, back on it. Right. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your season so far and what is your record? Uh, this season, we are five and zero. Oh. Uh, but all together, we are. Huh? Eleven. We are eleven and zero. Oh. It feels great being undefeated. Do you mean like your seventh grade season put together with this season as well? Yes, ma'am. You mean you, you've been undefeated seventh and eighth grade? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Okay. So talk a little bit about uh, who you've uh, played so far, your opponents. Uh, we played Hornado and Eastwood, Ganetio, Wiggs. We haven't played them yet. He's asking who we played. Oh. Who is it? Who are we played? That's it. That's it. And uh, who do you guys have next week? Uh, Navarrete. Ah, okay, I see. Is that going to be your last game of the season? Uh, no, ma'am. We have Haskins after that. Haskins, and then does your coach let you play a off uh, district game? Uh, we had two. It was uh, Canon Tio and uh, Eastwood, right? Oh, okay. So they were in your, like, engraved into your, like, regular season. I thought your coach was like, all right, wait wait till we're done, and then I'll choose who you get to play or something like that. That's how it was last year, but oh, this year okay. they had it at the start. Well, that's cool that you guys get the opportunity at least to go outside the district and get a little work, you know? Yes, ma'am. Who has been um, your most um, challenging opponent so far? Eastwood. Yeah. That, but it was because our line wasn't blocking. But <laughs> after that, that's, that was the only Not bad game we had. Well, it was, it was great speaking to you. Let's go ahead and pass the mic over to the next captain. Prince Thomas Charles Reeves. <laughs> so 
Hello, sir. Hello. I'm pretty sure everybody knows your name, but introduce yourself to the people at home again. Uh, my name is Prince Reeves, and I'm the wide receiver slash safety for No Richardson Jaguars. Okay, great. And uh, so, uh, do you have a nickname? Uh, my Princess. mom calls me Princess. Prince of Texas. Princess. 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 <laughs> Oh, that's cool. So uh, you're from Texas, huh? Yes. Born and raised? Yes, ma'am. What do you think about uh, Texas football? Um, some people call it underrated, but I feel like we got the best um, Texas football players in, like, the world. You know, I heard uh, a lot of people say that Florida has better football players than Texas. What do you think about that? I think that's a lot because <laughs> Texas people have it harder than Florida people have it in sports. You know, I have to agree with you because I'm a Texan as well, and I've seen a lot of Texas football, and Texas goes hard on football. Sorry, Florida. You're, you're a really close second, though. Uh, have you ever played out of town? Uh, yes, ma'am. Football? Yes, ma'am, and basketball. Uh, where did you play? Uh, football, played in Arizona, California. Cali. Are they, they know how to ball in Cali? A little bit. Uh, Albuquerque and San Antonio. Do they know how to ball in New Mexico? Not, not really. Not like Texas does? Nah. I think Arizona's a little bit better than uh, New Mexico. Yes, ma'am. How would you how would you rate the states? Um, rate Arizona probably like a six. Um, New Mexico probably like three. Cali seven. Texas definitely ten. And then uh, San Antonio probably like five. Do you watch any college football? Yes, ma'am. Who do you go for? Uh, Oregon. Oregon. Oh, oh nice. Guy. So they ball in Oregon too. Yeah. Like, what is that? The Ducks? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So you like green? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Not that you picked your team colors or anything. But uh, speaking of your team, talk a little bit about your coaching. Um, we have a great coaching. Uh, our head coach, Coach Mendoza, he's a great head coach. He keeps us focused. We get in trouble, we got to run. Um, Defensive coordinator, Coach Ruan, he knows pretty much everything about defense. We got our uh, assistant coach, uh, Coach Yu. He's our running back coach. He helps this guy right here. Um, help him get better and stuff. So, yeah. Receiver coach, we got uh, Coach Mendez. He's a pretty good receiver coach. He knows a lot about uh, receiving and technique. Cool, cool. And... Um... I know that uh, Nolan Richardson is in the north part of the city. Um, did you play uh, youth football? Uh, yes, ma'am. For uh, since seven U to twelve U. Since you were seven years old. Yes, ma'am. Wow! Did you start like flag <coughs> football or uh, straight into tackle? Tackle. Wow. Was that hard for a seven-year-old? Uh, a little bit, but the coaches around me helped it easier and make football fun. You said you said what coach when you were seven? Um, we had Coach Martin, Coach Lamar, um, Coach Turant, and Coach Manny. A lot of great coaches. Obviously, you're a very talented player. Uh, good luck with your season, and go ahead and pass the mic to the next athlete. Thank you. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the All people right. at home. My name is Jaden Lester. And yeah, I play D tackle for Nolan Richardson. We got a great uh, community going on around here. Go and, Jaguars! Yeah. Did you uh, ever play youth football? Uh, yeah, I started when I was six years old. I had yeah. you know Coach Martin, Coach Lamar, uh, Coach Durant, you know, and then I made the All Stars first year, and yeah, and now I um, I play for Prolific Reed. All right, great team. Raise your hand if you played youth football. What? Everybody? Yeah. Because I heard there was a lot of kids that haven't haven't ever played football until they were seventh grade. Yeah. I played last year. Wow. That's crazy. But you know what? There's a lot of like naturally born 
talented people out there that just pick right up. Yeah, I mean, like me, I'm like, I was like surprising because, you know, I I showed the coaches like what I could do, and you know they they believed in me, so that's how I made mm. the All Stars and all that. Yeah, you really do have to prove yourself to the coaches, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what kind of things does uh, your coach at Nolan Richardson have you guys doing? Yeah, so, so we, we start off with uh, the bags, you know, just to get a little warm-up in. And then we go indos, you know, receiver, running back, O-lineman, D-line. And it depends if it's offense or defense today. You guys do shells only or you guys pad up for practice? We pad up. Uh, every single day, Monday through Thursday, Friday, we do walkthroughs, so it's half show. So we do shoulder pads and shorts. And that's mm. it. I I wonder if some coaches are afraid to put up pads on uh, practices because uh, they might hurt the players. Uh no, our coaches aren't like they don't they don't really care that much because you know they know we're like experienced and all that, so we could do whatever you know, especially on Fridays, except for Fridays because. You know, we don't want to get hurt before the game because right. it's on Saturday. Yeah. So it's shells only. Yes, man. That makes sense. Right. Right. Well, I heard you, you guys have been undefeated since seventh grade all the way up until now. Tell us what has caused this and how can that possibly happen? Yes, man. It's just everything's executed. You know, offense, defense, you know, every everybody does their job. So every against every team, you know, you know, linemen have to block, running back has to has to run the ball, receivers catch, you know, and so everybody does their job. They execute it perfectly. That's how we win against so many teams. Yeah, teamwork and, makes the dream work. Yeah. So when we got the coaches, you know, to go along with it, you know, their <laughs> schemes and uh Yeah, absolutely. Coaches, shout out to all the coaches out there. Uh, you guys are coaching these kids up to be champions, especially the Nolan Richardson coaches. Uh, shout out to them. I really think there's something to be said about teams that have never lost through their seventh and eighth grade years. Yes, man. Uh, I know there was a there was an Eastwood Middle team. Remember that they never lost, and then their freshman year they finally got a loss, and they were like devastated, <laughs> like they cried. Yeah, I know. It's I, I. We would be hurt if we lost too. Was, obviously, we we don't know what it feels like to yeah. lose. Are you guys gonna stick together in high school? Um, I don't really know. That's that's really their choice. But I, I am no limit to represents Andres, so uh, I'm going to Andres. I don't know about them, but not everybody's going to Andres. Where are you guys going? Andres. 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 Yeah. You got a good program there too, right? Yes, man. I prefer Andrews because, you know, I, I've been wanting to go there since ever since you know, I was six years old. Shout out, Andrews. All right. Is there anybody else that would like to speak on this podcast? Go ahead and pass the mic over. Thank you. How you doing, sir? Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people at home. I'm doing good. Um, my name is Damian Reifenberg, linebacker for uh, Nolan Richardson, a.k.a. Uh, Sack Demon. Sack Demon. Who gave you that nickname? Uh, myself. <laughs> yeah. I, I like giving myself nicknames, too. Yeah. I wanted everybody to call me Webmaster V, but it never caught on. I'll call you that. I'll call you that. I'll call you Tackle Demon. Sack <laughs> Demon. Oh, Sack Demon. My Sack bad. Demon. We're going to put it right on the bottom right here. Sack Demon. Yeah. That's on, enough. Yeah. That's <laughs> well. on the graphics. Okay. So, um... <clears throat> You play defense, defense, obviously, right? Yes, ma'am. I that's my favorite side of the ball. Talk love, about what a defensive player does. Uh, so basically, it's just making sure the offense doesn't go anywhere near their side of the ball uh, field, and just making sure they don't score whatsoever. Make sure the ball doesn't go anywhere. Defense wins games. Yes, ma'am. Defense wins championships. I understand you guys are undefeated, and also nobody has ever scored on you. No, man, we have the best defense in the city easily. Everyone. Oh, did somebody get lucky? Yeah, Haskins got a little. Haskins got a little cheeky touchdown last year. Oh, so I like that you uh, gave yourself a nickname, and you're wearing a cool hat. Talk about your hat, man. Um, so I was. 
I was usually, I was, what's the word? Um, I was raised in Florida and this is uh, the tsunami dude that surfs a lot and we live next to a beach. So my parents had this when they were young. So I basically just forward today, represent Florida. Oh, Florida, I like Florida. I like going for the dolphins, man. A lot of dolphins over there. I'm all sad though, because of Tua. Oh, <laughs> Tua, oh, that needs to retire. I know, man, what do you think about him? He's a good player, just got hit too hard too many times. Done. He should be done with football. I mean, do you think there should be a rule in football that you shouldn't be able to play if you've gotten that many concussions? I, sh I think there should be more than like three that should be over for it because then it starts making you. Have not. you ever met anybody that gotten a concussion? Um, not that I think of. Or have you never have you ever seen somebody on the field? Uh, I seen I seen some people on the field. I think our last game, the wide receiver got hit pretty hard. We hit him pretty hard, and he got off oh, the field. Yes, ma'am. Oh man, well, I hope he's okay. Yes, ma'am. I heard I saw an injury. Uh, I was a Navarrete kid. I think it was an eighth grade. He just dropped on the sidelines. Yeah, I don't even know scary. what happened to him. I think he just fainted. I'm, I know against Eastwood, seventh grade, one of them I think got paralyzed. Dude, we yeah, shouldn't we shouldn't put this on the podcast. Oh. Sean, should we cut it? What injuries? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been injured? Um. Yeah. Um. Last game, my chin strap got caught in my throat. I couldn't breathe for a good like five to ten seconds. Ooh. Yeah. So you crushed your esophagus. I think I don't, I don't know about my. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty bad, man. Yeah, I hurt. Most people roll ankles and stuff. What'd you say? Nah, I got hurt. Uh, Eastwood game. Eastwood game. What happened? Hurt my knee. Hurt your knee? Yeah, that's a pretty typical football injury, right? Yeah. Anything about the legs. Yeah, because everybody tells them go low, go low, right? Yep. Bobby. Yeah, I saw I saw an ankle injury today at the flag football field. But anyways, yep, Sean's right. We're uh, past the time. Uh, would anybody else like to speak on this podcast? We got one more person. Step on up, sir. You want my dress? No, I'm not putting on those dress. <laughs> Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people at home. My name is Sean Payton, and I'm the wide receiver slash corner for the Nolan Richardson Jaguars. Sean Payton. That's a cool name, man. That already sounds like a pro football player. The Saints coach. <laughs> oh, right? Isn't that Sean Payton? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so, uh, so you're a football player. When did you start playing football? I started playing when I was like five years old. I started playing on the Northeast Raiders with with this kid right here, Prince. And then I moved to Colorado to go play with them. But they they're just not like they're just not like Texas. They don't play football like Texas. So and then I went to Breed. I played with Prolific Brief. I thought you looked familiar. Yeah. I was on the, the what's it called? The E P Spartans too, the All Star team. That's what's up. So you play you've been playing since what age? Like six, five. Wow. It's starting young now. So you're pretty good, right? Yeah. I mean, what would you say is the best thing about being on uh, the Jaguars team? I'll say the best thing is that we just know every game we're not going to lose. We just know we're always winning every single game. And, like, our defense is, and offense is just too good. We have, like – some of the best players out here in the Northeast. Yeah, you know how I felt when I, I, I mean, I, I wasn't a great athlete like you guys, but I was in band. And when I went to college band and everybody knew what they were doing and we all got like a new show every week, it was amazing. Like it was like, it was like magical, man. Just having everybody knowing their job, knowing what to do. And I see that with, that's what you guys got here. Yeah, everybody knows how to do their job here. Our running back is good. Wide receiver core is good. Quarterback's good. Defense is on probably unstoppable. So. Would you like to give any shout outs? Um, shout out Prince, Caden, 
and Damien. Shout out. Uh, shout out to my mom, my parents, GK, oh, yeah, Josiah, GK. Sean, Damien, Kaden, Cohen, Micah, Jules, Barab, Kaden, this guy had Wes, a shout out here. Wesley, here, uh, shout out, shout out. You know, shout out to my mom, my dad, and my teammates, you know, Ryan the running Federico. backs I blocked for. Yeah, Ryan Federico, my duo. Yeah, everybody. Anybody else want to shout out? Uh, I just want to shout out to my parents. They did everything for me. They're the reason why I have all this gear on right now. My teammates, they're the reason why we're unstoppable. And I'll go to God, too. That's a smart man right there. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this podcast, give us a like. And if you have a comment, give us a comment. Go ahead. We'll take it. That's all for today. And let's just... Clap it out for the Jaguar. Shout out to Cool Bass.